um, a, a a proper end to this conflict is 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 ludicrous. To, you know, Israel will continue to retaliate, and they so so they should. But Hamas will not stop, and until they do, there's no chance of any kind of solution. And you mentioned Netanyahu, but, you, you, how, how, sad, but you know, at the moment, I, I want strength. How, how feasible do you really think it is that Hamas will be wiped out? It's, it, I don't think it's feasible. I think but that's what you just them. offered up as the only <laughs> condition for, for stopping the bombardment. So how else will that happen, James? Well, that's the point, isn't it? I, it won't. And but so but, but then how many people have to die? You? How many people have to die before you say enough is enough? Actually, and I'm going to make you answer question. that question. How many? Yeah. I, I, look, I don't want to see a single person killed. Too late. I, I, how many, how many well, before you say enough is enough? Well, until all the Hamas are dead, I'm very happy to see that. So, a million? A million innocents? Uh, James, I can't give you an answer. I don't want to see innocents. Half a million? 50,000? <laughs> you've you've got a you've got a. a I don't, I don't think it's. Fu- I don't think this is funny. I, 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 no, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you a. Fa- you. I'm laughing because I can't give you an answer. Well, I, I don't, but you have to. Fine. You have to have a moral compass. I have, I have a, I have a moral you can't compass just keep these platitudes it. about we've got to get rid of Hamas. That, that's that's five thousand dead, ten thousand dead, <clears throat> twenty thousand dead, fifty thousand dead. The last ceasefire. No, but you've simultaneously said you've simultaneously said you don't think that they will ever be eradicated, but you think Israel has to carry on bombing no, Gaza. I, I think we will remove Hamas as it stands, and some other group will join in and, and line up behind them. It's and and you refuse you refuse to go to the place where you have to contemplate the number of deaths that that would involve? I'm, I'm not refusing to. I don't think it's possible. So to. how many I don't, I don't. It's impossible to answer your question. It isn't. Because there there there's plenty of people is... queuing up today saying 5,000 is already too many, you see. So they're calling for a ceasefire. So it's not impossible yeah. to answer that question. The people that but you've just... You, the people you've just insulted... The people you've just insulted side. have answered that question today. So there are, it is possible there. to answer it. What's your answer? My answer is that I think that there will be casualties in war. That's not a and number. That is, it, well, there is no there is no number which is good and is, is it, there is so it's limitless, limitless death of civilians in no, pursuit of no what good. you've described as an unachievable goal. James, that's not what I said. I said I don't believe there's a number which is right. I don't think any number is correct. No, then you want to see well, I, I eventually, but Hamas won't. But, but, but when? No, I, 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 you're holding perhaps not quite as contradictory thoughts in your head as I am. But you have to go to these places, James. And, and, I, and I'm not going to let you not go there, but I fully expected you not to answer that question. The people calling for a ceasefire have answered it. The people calling for a humanitarian pause perhaps have not. But what they haven't answered, the people calling for a ceasefire, is, is the question of how many Israeli deaths are to be tolerated or to be permitted or to be accommodated when Hamas take up arms again and launch the next attack that they have promised to launch. So, you, 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 I, 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 well, I think James perhaps unintentionally demonstrated the difficulty of, of, of being fully committed to one side or that we need strength, but it's an unachievable goal. Well, the, Ah oh dear, Paul's in Twickenham. Paul, what would you like to say? Uh, uh, James, I'd like to say that a humanitarian pause is like the uh, breaks in a boxing match. You know, yes. you have 15 of them while one, while, and then they pummel each other after each uh, break. But, but then again, if there weren't any breaks, then probably more boxing matches would end in death and serious injury than they currently do. That's no, uh, that's absolutely right. But James, yes. the point is, there's no risk in calling for a ceasefire. Uh, let me explain why. Go on. A ceasefire is not a call for disarmament. Let's look at it from the Israeli point of view. I just deal with that first. Okay, you don't have that long but i'll give you as much time as i can before right. the news if, if there is a universal call or for a ceasefire mm. no one is asking israel to disarm what they could do would be to say right well we've got gaza surrounded we've got all our tanks all around saying we will we will say to hamas we will stop firing on a certain time we will cease fire mm. it's not permanent it, it could start up again at any time but we will cease fire we will spare the lives of the people being massacred and tormented in gaza i think if they did that hamas would actually be prepared to release some hostages negotiate exchange of prisoners i don't know but i think if israel responded by to a call for both sides to cease fire by cease firing itself i think that hamas would 
do something. Now, we can't say where this would lead. But how, how much have, I have stated the opposite? I, I, I know it's, it's hard to pin down who speaks for who, but they have stated that they would launch another attack, they intend to launch another attack at the, yes, I, at the I first opportunity. Argument, James, but let's, well, we you can't to... butt your way out of that, Paul. You can't no, say, no, no, Hamas no, have no, said no, they're no. going to kill more Jews, but no. I don't really believe them, therefore we should stop bombing Gaza. No, no, I'm not saying that, James. You kind if, of are, if, mate. if Israel were to cease fire and Hamas were to try and launch further attacks yes. of the kind, then Israel would have every right to uh, to, to defend itself against that but there's been a game changer here james Go on. Ga we're not in the position we were on october the 6th we're in no. th there's a huge difference now israel is now very very well alert to the risk of uh, further attacks from hamas yes we need so they've, they've got hamas surrounded with their tanks they've got their air force they're in a position to go back to my boxing match analogy, to, those yeah, are terrific... To give them some breathing space to let humanity... So you support what Keir Starmer did? No, I don't. Oh, I say sorry. they're in a position to say... <laughs> they're in a position to cease fire yeah. and say, if you behave yourself, we'll never exterminate you, but we've got you under our thumb. Now, release the hostages. We'll release some prisoners. Well, we'll carry on. But then you, I think you perhaps underestimate, and I hope you don't. I, hope, I, I don't hope you're right, necessarily, because if you are, then we, we'll never know. But I think you underestimate the comfort with which Hamas contemplates the killing of Palestinian civilians. I genuinely think they see it as a recruiting sergeant. So that would be one fly in the ointment of your uh, of your analysis, but only, only, only one. And, and, you know, the difference between a humanitarian pause and a humanitarian ceasefire to you is clear. To many others, it's, it's less clear. 11.32 is the time. Thomas Watts is here now with your headlines. Police could be given new powers after pro-Palestinian protesters were accused of desecrating a monument in London. Scotland Yard says the people climbing on the Royal Artillery Memorial were not breaking the law, but their behaviour was unacceptable. Train drivers are to stage a series of one-day strikes and a nine-day ban on overtime next. Next month, the Aslef Union says the action will ratchet up the pressure on train companies in their long-running pay row. Lord Cameron's met President Zelensky in Ukraine, his first working visit as Foreign Secretary. He reiterated the UK's backing for Kiev, promising moral, diplomatic and military support in the fight against Russia. LBC weather, some heavy rain across southern England and Wales, but fairly dry elsewhere with some sunny spells, a high of 11 degrees. This is LBC. Comfort season is here. We're getting comfy on the sofa, in comfy clothes, with comfy blankets, eating comfort food. And now you can comfortably buy a comfy new Skoda with a further thousand pounds off. A new Skoda sitting comfortably on your drive. The Skoda Autumn event ends 30th of November, so don't get too comfy. Visit skoda.co.uk. Excludes ENYAC and SE Tech, ordered by 30th November 23, registered by 31st March 24. Private retail customers only from participating retailers. T's and C's apply. At E.ON Next, we believe life's better when you know you can get your hands on discounts across a range of home energy solutions, like boilers and solar panels, so you can treat your home to a got future cash. Sorry, mate. Sorry we well done, though. Thank energy you. energy a little bit better. And that's why we're always working towards helping you get more out of your energy. So visit eonnext.com today. Discounts available to Eon Next customers and 31st of December 2023. T's and C's, eligibility criteria and geographical restrictions apply. Our next tablet. Well, it needs a big screen for all my true crime shows. And, and I need to browse recipes so I can knock Susan off her perch at the next office bake-off and... And I want to draw dinosaurs! The new Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 FE Plus. With a 12.4-inch screen and creative S Pen, it's for everyone. Buy now to claim six months of Disney Plus on us. RRP $7.99 per month after six months. Offer end 31st of March, redeemed by 1st of May. Cancel any time. 18 plus, TCC supply. Did you know? Making your heating system more efficient helps save energy and money off your bills. Here's how in three simple steps. One, reduce your boiler flow temperature to 60 degrees, saving you up to 60 pounds per year. Two, bleed your radiators. Three, get your boiler service to save on future repairs. There you go. It all adds up. For more energy saving advice, visit gov.uk forward slash save energy. 
So your accountant does your audit for you, looks at your accounts, calculates your tax, stuff like that. But do they look at your business model and give you long-term advice to help your business grow? And most importantly, are they looking after you, the owner? At Barnes Roof, our partners get to know their clients and want to become part of their team. Is it time to see what we can do for you? Get in touch with us at barnesroof.com to arrange your free consultation. Barnes Roof, clever accountants for business. As it's Riviera Travel's 40th anniversary next year, we've been thinking of ways to celebrate on our luxury river cruises. We could treat you like the VIPs you are and tempt you with mouth-watering local delicacies. We could show you picture-perfect sights along with tucked away treasures. But since we do all this already, instead we're including a free Superior drinks package worth £400 per person on all our 2024 European River Cruises. To join the celebrations, book today at rivieratravel.co.uk. James O'Brien, Alexa, send a comment to LBC. Is it fair, that question, do you think? I think I think it is. Um, but I, 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 the, the curse of the liberal is self-examination, isn't it? You can almost envy people who, who, who never stop to think about what they think. Never stop to think, in fact. Just feel, feel, never mind the um, thoughtfulness. Just feel the fury and that... that but I think it's a fair question to say, at what point would you say enough is enough? How many people in Palestine have to die? How many people in Gaza have to die? Innocents have to die. Can you even prove that Hamas has been eradicated? I don't think you can. And in the absence, A, of any way to prove that it has happened, or B, in the absence of any genuine belief that it's possible or plausible, then how many deaths is enough deaths? At what point do you say, right, that's taught them? We've taught those terrorists a lesson by killing 20,000 innocent Palestinians. We've taught, we've taught those terrorists a lesson by killing 50,000. I don't know. I think it's a fair question, uh, although I don't expect anybody to answer it ever, up to and including Benjamin Netanyahu.